You're all kinds of festive today. Yep. What was that? Hey, welcome back to our stupid reaction to the Corbin. I'm Rick. And you can follow us on Instagram, Twitter, juicy content. Thanks on Patreon. Follow us on account. We're in the bell. We're going Bang! Bang! Follow us on personal YouTube channels. Link in the description below. And you're probably like, why are you guys on Skype? Um, I'm not feeling well. And uh, I don't I, I don't feel terrible. Uh, but my wife was sick. Now I'm feeling a little under the weather. I don't think it's COVID. We've taken like three COVID tests already. Um, and they're all negative, uh, but out of abundance of caution, even, even still, if you just had a cold, I'm sure Rick doesn't want to catch a cold either. So, <laughs> we're, we're, and with uh, Omicron going crazy, yeah. we're just and you know we're just being being extra careful as you should be. Just be extra safe, guys. Um, but I'm pretty sure I'm 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 waxed and vaxxed, so I should be fine. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but today, in case none of you have been yelling at us for it, uh, we are doing a review for the new Malayalam film, a 2021 film that came out, I believe it was on Christmas Day, actually. Um, hence, Minal, hence my Christmas lights. It, it actually had Santa, too. So it's just as much of a Christmas movie as Die Hard. Right. Uh, <laughs> Minal Murali. Uh, directed by Basil Joseph, who we've seen, I believe, his acting stuff. I don't think we've ever Correct. seen anything he's directed. Uh, starring Tavino Thomas, who we've seen in, I believe it was Kala uh, earlier in the year. And then also Guru, um, I can't say that last name. Um, the He plays the villain, essentially, yeah. in, in the film. He's the uh, antagonist. Yes, uh, and a whole bunch of other people, but those are the main two uh, stars in it. Um, since it's new, <clears throat> and it's on Netflix, so if you like to go watch it, go watch it. Uh, this is going to be a non-spoiler first, and then we'll get into some spoilers. This is India's first, uh, not India, sorry, <clears throat> Malayalam's first ever superhero film. And I don't even know if that's fair. I would actually call it a Malayalam film that happens to have superpowers. Uh, more than a overall s superhero film, because we, I'm sure you got him as well, a ton of messages about this film. Oh my and, goodness. And how it, it was. It, like, I, I did, which is, which go I, I, I got so many messages that it's one of the benefits of following us on Instagram and Twitter is that you get insider information. So I let stupid babies know on Instagram and my story, I just, I sent a poster of it and put on there watching it right now review coming because I was getting so many messages about watch it, watch it, watch it. So I just wanted everybody to know you can stop bombarding me now. <laughs> and um, we do know that obviously the budget was about 2.5 million US dollars. Um, and obviously if you're comparing that to a Marvel film, that's a pennies, obviously. Uh, so we knew I think that that's their craft services budget. Yeah, obviously. So we knew that going into it, that it wasn't going to be a massive, big budget Spider-Man style of film. But we saw a couple trailers, a couple teasers. We were very, very excited for it. Um, so first, non-spoiler, then we'll get into some spoils. Rick, your first initial non-spoiler thoughts, please. I have a paragraph. Okay, cool. Yeah. So I wrote, in a superhero world that has been dominated by the gold standard of the Marvel universe for, for over a decade now. It takes people who are either crazy, audaciously bold, or both, to try and make a superhero movie today, especially when the region and industry they come from has never made a superhero movie before now. It's kind of like thinking a kid who's only played gully cricket can just step in one day as a substitute for Virat Kohli and play as well. <laughs> well... <laughs> well, holy, holy sixes, Batman, the Malayalam kids have shown up to play. <laughs> While it certainly does lack in some acting and technical expertise, Minal Morali makes up for it in sheer will, originality, and above all heart. I loved this movie, and I'll have a lot more to say as we dissect it all here, but to me, this movie should absolutely become a franchise, and it's a great example of how a movie can miss the mark in a few places, but still completely win your heart. 
That's one of your better paragraphs, Rick. I, I feel well. I thank the, you. I like the uh, Virat Kohli uh, reference there. Uh, well, it's <laughs> it's like that. I mean, if you're making a superhero movie, everybody on the planet's going to compare you to Marvel with their arms crossed, and that's so unfair. <laughs> yeah, uh, and I, I I will just echo actually what you said. I totally agree. I actually really really enjoyed this film. It's it does yeah. have its it does have its flaws, and I think a lot of them could actually be done away if they're given a bigger budget. Uh, in yeah. terms of not not all of them, I think some of them there, there were some issues that weren't weren't really budgetary, um, sure. but there uh, overall there was some parts of this that I absolutely loved. Uh, not not only in performance, but in in just overall uh, it, like score the the the, oh, the, yeah. the cinematography the the overall story. I, I really really enjoyed, um, and so I think there's a, a way more that you can love about this film than you can harp on it. And so we'll Great. go over all that. But I told it's it's of the films that have come out, and we've had a couple disappointments now, right? Of uh, obviously yeah. eighty three with Pushpa with um, I think there was another one that we were, we were a little disappointed with. I can't remember exactly what it was. Jersey just got delayed, obviously, so that that's not really right. fair. Um, but for something that had a bunch of hype for being the first Miley Allen superhero, I thought they did a fantastic job uh, in, in, in delivering, uh, even though we didn't get to see it in like a theater space. Uh, yeah. you, get, you get it kind of, you get to present it to a lot more people when it's on a platform like Netflix. And I hope Netflix puts a lot more money into future endeavors like this. Um, so let's just get into it. I'm going to go with my favorite part here and you can tell me if it's your favorite part as well. And it's, it's, uh, okay. you could probably tell what my favorite part is going to be. And they did the villain. I think they did the villain right in this one. I agree. They did yeah. the villain right. <laughs> I think, uh, I agree I think, without, without giving it, we're not in the spoilers yet, but, um, cause I have, I'll say stuff in the spoiler part of it, but I, I wasn't expecting and was really pleased with, how the villain was created and what the villain represented in comparison to our our protagonist, mm -hmm. and um, I, I, there's just it was it, they clearly didn't just set out to make a superhero movie and say, "Hey, look at us, we can make a superhero movie." They had a story to tell. Yeah, and uh, I thought the what they did with the villain uh, and that guy as an actor, I thought did a fantastic job. And that's some, some, some places that Marvel has failed in creating iconic villains in terms of their, yep. their films. Uh, unlike DC, which is one of their stronger suits in DC. Uh, cause they have to, I, in, in my opinion, I think they have stronger villains in, in the DC universe, um, comic books, not, not, yeah. Uh, um, and the Nolan Batman films, obviously, but, um, I think they did a good job at not only, bringing up his arc of telling mm -hmm. you his story and, and yep. sympathizing with this guy. Absolutely. And, and so you kind of understand what he's doing. And then I thought his performance, I thought he hit it out of the park. I thought that I, actor did. A I great agree job. that there was a moment and this, this also goes into so much I would like to say about the score, but there's a moment that's not giving anything away. You'll know what it is, but there's a moment that he has. That's kind of a very pivotal moment for the character taking a turn as it were. And the score accompanying it mm. was 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 just exactly what it needed. And I was paying really close attention to the actor in the role to see if he was going to go for choices that were preconditioned in his own mind. And he had already thought it out versus just being the character in the moment. And what I saw was the best thing you can do with a, a villain. And I, it would not surprise me if this actor's got some theater background. <laughs> his 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 creation of this villain was a very human creation, and that's that's what you need with every kind of a villain that you create. Is that you? The, if you can get us, if you can get us to empathize with evil, it's it means the actor and the director and the screenwriter all did great jobs. Very, a fantastic job, and I thought our lead as well did a good job. I just think he was Agreed. over. I think he was overshadowed uh, by. That's always the case uh, by the villain. It's, I mean, I love I <laughs> love the good the villain. Case. Uh, yeah. I just, I honestly, I was like every time I, I thought when t um, t uh, Tavino, Tavino, I think uh, Tovino uh, was on screen. I was like, this is, he's doing a, he's doing a good job, but yeah. I, I was waiting for, for our villain to come back on this screen. Well, you, and you could kind of tell, and this is not really given a spoiler. You can kind of tell almost immediately what's going to go on in the story of, of who's yeah. going to become the villain and who's going to become uh, our, our hero in the story. Um, but it was, I thought he did a good job and it's not like he did yeah. bad or anything. It's just no, no, no. That the other but guy that, did so much better 
and it's it's like it very it's, interesting. It's sorry, it's, ahead, like, sorry. it's like Christian Bale to Joker. Christian Bale yeah. didn't do a bad job. Exactly. <laughs> Heath just did one of the an amazing performance. Yeah, so. and was given a spectacular role. Yeah. And I found it interesting because one of the things I had said in my paragraph that there there are some things that are artistically uh, subpar. And it's part of it is the beginning points. There's there's as is the case in a, a lot of films that we see uh, there and we'll be hypercritical about it because it matters so much to us. But there will be things with acting where people are just indicating and they're yeah. doing something that's stereotypically tropish. Um, but what I found interesting was that as as once without giving anything away, once we got a twist in the story. I noticed something that happened and I don't know if it was a directorial choice and they were allowing for some of the indicating because I just I just I did but for, for those of you who may be new to the channel indicating in, in acting is where you can't get real tears so you wipe them away even though they're not there. That's 100% a terrible thing to do unless you're doing over the top ridiculous comedy that is transcendently ridiculous three stooges over the top. Uh -huh. If you're trying to convey something of believability you don't pretend there's a tear because you've immediately falsified a truth and then we can't have a real moment with you. So I found it interesting that so much of what I saw in the first half of the film that had a lot of that, what was kind of glaring, it, it kind of took a back seat as the story became deeper and, it, and more personal. It got better as it went on. And I liked, I liked yeah. the, um, the quirkiness that they decided to go with, like with the, the Me whole too. police officer and his like Lieutenant, that whole yes. weird vibe that they had, like it was very Agreed. quirky and stupid and I liked it. Um, and so Me I too. liked that it, that kind of gave some grace to a lot of the other flaws that this film might've had because it yeah. was like, it, it, this is like this kind of like, we're just having a good time right now. We're, just, exactly. we're not taking ourselves extremely serious right now. And so I, I, I really enjoyed that, uh, the, what they did with um, that part of the film and the filmmaking aspect of it. Um, another issue that I, I'm going to say it every time until it comes, but it's, it's a budgetary thing and I get it, but the dub, the, the non-sync sound, uh, yeah, it, it, non just, sound. it could have been so much, even though I thought it was a really, really good film, it could have been that much better if you just, just gotten real sound. And I get it. You guys sometimes don't like us harping on that, but I'm going to say it because I've seen that people in Malayam cinema and other cinema do do sync sound. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And I get it. It's a budgetary thing. And they probably were like, we're going to put our mudgy to the CGI. I get it. That's probably what, that's probably the conversation that happened. Correct. It's it was, just, it was, oh, it's, 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 what are we going to do? Are we going to rent a soundstage or are we going to make sure the visuals are good? And in that situation, I, I would go, it. it's a superhero movie. We've got to do CGI. I get it. I'm hoping just like on the next ones that the budget will be up and we'll get some 10 sound. times, uh, give them 10 times the budget. But yeah, so uh, I thought that was yeah. good. Um, so I, let's just get into spoilers because I want to talk more. So sure. if you haven't watched it, just go watch this film. I thought everything about this, it's going to be an enjoyable Please watch. watch. If you are Malayalam, if you're not Malayalam, go watch this film. I think it's a, it's, it's one of the most, I think it's one of the, it'll probably be once we do our dummies, maybe in my top 10 for sure, I, I'd say I of, of the year, with you. Uh, of the year That's in terms the year. of just how good it was uh, overall. Um, in everything. So if you haven't watched it, please go watch it, come back, and then we're going to start some spoilers uh, right here. Um, other, other aspects that I really, really enjoyed was the score. I thought this was a fantastic score, not only in the songs that happened, but just the background music of everything. This would yeah. get a, a bunch of nods if this was like an American film in terms of like yeah. Oscar, what, what the, for, for, for audio, I think. I absolutely agree. I, 15 minutes in, mm -hmm. I put in my notes. The score is already exactly what this film needs, and yeah. it just it stayed that way for the entirety of the film. Um, mm -hmm. I, I thought I thought the score was pretty much about as perfect as it could have been for this film. Mm -hmm. And another thing which we noticed in the teasers and trailers, how beautiful this film was. Yeah, this this yeah. came across what I was hoping Pushpa was going to come across in terms of the visuals that it was giving in yeah. the trailer of like how pretty everything is, and I'm mean, obviously they're in. Uh, I'm assuming Kerala. And so um, obviously you got the beautiful landscape, but everything right from the smoke in some of the shots in the background to the, yes. to the, to the rain, to the dark night shots, it was all extremely beautiful. So the cinematographer, let's uh, give him a shout out here. Samir Sahir. I can't pronounce that. I apologize. But the cinematographer I thought did a marvelous job in this film. I agree. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. And, 
a, a big, I just, I can't applaud the whole team enough. They started this movie December of 2019. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> and they got three months into production and shutdown happened. And then they had months of shutdown. They tried to take advantage of that and built this big church set and invested, I don't know how much money into this set that, that was then the, the vandalized. Last set of, oh, really? yeah, the church set. It oh, was wow. vandalized by extremists who were angry that a church was built close to a temple. Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> so they had to re- rebuild their set. Uh, if they pretty much had every imaginable obstacle, then their lead actor gets COVID. Mm. And so to come out the other end of this with their head really held high and you're, you're looking at something with a budget that's literally a hundred times less than a Marvel film. A hundred times. Yeah. And they I should be so so proud. You and I could give you some Marvel films that this is a better film than um, some. Um, not obviously Agreed. not all. Obviously, there's some obviously marvelous Marvel films, and it's 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 almost wrong to even compare it because, like I said in the beginning, I think this is more like a Malayalam film that just happens to have superheroes in it. Um, right, and because you can't go into this. Well, I'm going to have a big superhero film. It's really not. It's more of like a small right. origin story that has a little bit of action in it. You're, you're mostly going to be just delved into the characters of the, the main guy and the villain. And that's why it's so right. beautiful because you're actually focusing on the characters uh, in this. And you, and, and you care for these characters, not only the, the hero, but the villain as well. You can understand almost why he's doing this. Um, not fully, but obviously you can, which is the, the, once we, once again, the, um, the, that's an example of good writing when you can, when you can sympathize with a bad person or something bad that right. he's doing, um, which is why we we a lot of people are like why why would you tell a story that's glorifying you know a criminal or something like that? One, it's storytelling, okay. And to the whole point, like it's you should you should be sympathetic. They're human, so you should be sympathizing yeah. with them on some level. It doesn't mean you should accept right. what they do, uh, right? But I thought the writing in this, um, I thought the um, Every I, I there was very little. There was some technical stuff that you've already talked about in this um, with uh, everything, um, but the overall sets, even at the end that you were just talking about, I love that it was a practically made set because that was a beautiful when nice. they went over the bridge and that whole piece, not only cinematography wise but just production wise. Yes. And I'm, it's Absolutely. so sad that they didn't get more money for this because I know. they could have done I'm, even more. I'm really hoping they do, and they've created something that could be a franchise. And I thought about this. I thought of a couple of things in the ending there. Well, well first of all, there was a shot uh, where I think it was the car shot where he's lifting up the car, and he, they they take a close up of his sandals while he's doing it. And I know that the the thing that they wear that's, that we typically call a a, a, a dhoti is a, it's called a, a mundu in, in their region. And so here, I, I was reminded of what um, black kids must have felt like when they saw Black Panther. Mm. And I was reminded of what it must be like for for Indian kids, especially South Indian kids, to see a superhero in sandals and a mundu. And then I thought it was if you get if they haven't capitalized on this, and it wasn't intentional. When he's first revealed in his full regalia at the end, the climactic battle sequence, I looked at him and I thought, "Dude's wearing an N95 mask." <laughs> yeah, I was like, he's COVID. Guys, could market that thing. Create, create a mask. Create a mental morale uh, mask. Kids would wear it, which would be the superhero for protecting people around you. Yeah. I was like, come on, was that intentional or not? Because that's freaking brilliant. I, I don't know if it was intentional. But it was great. I, I, <laughs> market I, that. I, I market really enjoyed that. it. <laughs> um, I uh, and and on the obviously we know the the, the budgetary things that constrained obviously the cgi but i thought they actually did a good job of hiding some of the uh which is something we talk about all the time if you don't have a big budget so if there's any physical altercations that takes stunt people that takes that takes um um, uh, choreography that takes uh cgi sometimes 
And so if you don't have that money, you need to get creative in your filmmaking. And they yes. were so yes. creative in this. And, in, in like, if certain things that they were like, we're not going to have the budget to do what we want to do. And so right. they filmed it in a certain way that it was like, you didn't notice uh, sometimes uh, how lower the CGI was than like a normal Marvel film. And so that's hats off to the filmmakers uh, of this film for, for doing it. And you didn't, even though you, it's sometimes you're like, yeah, I can see that that's CGI, but it wasn't the worst CGI I've ever seen. And I thought they did a really Not at all. good job at hiding some of the budgetary uh, constraints I that they had. Totally agree. Yeah. I was concerned with the budget that we were going to see some blaring CGI problems that we would have to just look past because, okay, low budget. Oh, my goodness, that was brutal. There was never a moment with the CGI where I thought it was – there was worse CGI in Padmavat than there was in this. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, and they also invested where they needed to. Like you just brought up the stunt stuff. I read that they hired a Hollywood stunt coordinator to do the stunt work on the film. Oh, good. So That's clearly, awesome. yeah, clearly they're like, okay, we need, it's a superhero movie. Our stunts have to be spot on, but we're going to be okay with some of the, you know, we've got to be really careful. Of, I think when you consider the budget they had, they pretty much made as good of a movie as they possibly could have. And it's a kind of a small miracle. It's as good as it is. Oh, absolutely. It's, it's, it's yeah. really insane. I'm glad it actually lived up to, to the hype that it was given up. Cause we, we, we had seen the like, two films in a row, I guess now that that just didn't live yeah. up to our expectations of what we, we had thought they were going to be. No, I'll give you an example. Um, this movie is let me look. I, I had just looked it up. I want to make sure I'm exactly right on this. Yes, I'm right. This film is nine minutes longer than Pushpa. No, it's not. Pushpa was a uh, two hours fifty two. Are you sure? Because I yeah. have the Pushpa trailer. The Pushpa. I have Pushpa as uh, that's, because, that's because they cut it down, Rick. Two thirty. They've cut it down since the release. They've cut it since, the, so we saw the two fifty. Yeah, we saw the two fifty. But it still, it still felt oh. like five hours. Yeah, yeah, and it's, good. and it's shorter then. Yeah, yeah, it definitely. Yeah, this is obviously you can have a long film and it not feel like a long film, and that is all filmmaking and editing in the in the editing room. And this is shows where it went right, and it doesn't actually feel like a two and a half hour film, uh, as opposed to you know push pop or or. or um, I guess 83 didn't really feel like, I mean, it, it felt long, but it wasn't like as long as Pushbot that felt, um, in 83. Yeah. Put but, some nature of 83 wasn't the runtime per se. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, this just, this shows you how like well made in filmmaking this film was, which is great, obviously. And it's kind of what you expect. It's Malayalam film industry. We know the Malayalam film industry is known for caring about story and actual artistic endeavors. Um, and so it's, it's not, it's not shocking that they would make a film that feels like, um, a normal Molly Ellen film that they just happen to put a superhero, uh, element into. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. And it, there also should be note for anybody who doesn't know this, the CGI all homegrown. This was not shopped out though. It could have been, I'm sure the ticket price would have been astronomical, but the fact that all of the CGI was done from a technological company that's there in South India is again, uh, it's, it's just, it's as, it's as enjoyable as like, this is a completely different thing. But when I see something like a movie recently with the awards situation going on with nine days or mass, those are two films that are first time directors that really just came fresh out of film school. So it's basically film school level movie that's being talked about in the upper echelons of the industry for award season. There should be so much pride that they're there going toe to toe. And you said it. I agree. There's some aspects of this that I would compare it to some Marvel films that I like this more than some Marvel films. Oh, absolutely. Oh, another scene that I really, really enjoyed. I think it was one of the first action scenes. It was when he showed up in the bird, the big bird thing. And it was a hilarious yeah. fight scene, especially since the kid yes. who who was a great actor, by the way. I thought he did a fantastic yeah. job. That, that Very that, good that, job that kid who kept calling him uncle um his little dance while the fight was going on i thought was absolutely i love hilarious. that sequence i thought that, it was hilarious i the twist when it started to become really personal and we discovered that his dad isn't really his dad yeah and then the overall story the moral to the story being 
that you know a superhero and that's what i love about the 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 comparison of these two the antagonist and the protagonist they both have the same powers but it's not about the powers it's about what you do with those powers and the fact that the our hero is learning that his dad was a real hero and that what real heroes are are other oriented not selfish like the antagonist so when he has that realization and then right on the heels of that we get that quirky funny fight sequence I was laughing out loud and thought, okay, you guys won me over. I'm fully in now. Yeah. Um, yeah. So it was absolutely fantastic. Uh, I'm so glad it, it lived up to uh, to uh, what all the hype was of being the first Agreed. Malayalam superhero film. Um, so let us know what you thought about this film, or what should be our next Malayalam film industry, and also Netflix, Amazon, all you other things. Give Give artists like this more money. Give them more money to do what they want and don't get in the way. Uh, please, that is the public service announcement of the day. <laughs> <laughs> so let us know what that other, let us know what you thought about the film down below.